Jeez. No, I'm just kidding. What's up? We're back with another video. Today we're on the Project Flip GMC. And today we're gonna be fixing that headliner. So let's go get the material real quick. And just like that, we have the new headliner material. We got some spray adhesive. The old one with all the holes. And then we have the headliner out here already. So first things first, we're gonna lay out the new material over. And then we're going to trace out all the holes that we need to cut out, like all these here. And then we'll get started in spraying it down because we have a lot of work to do on inside the truck. We need to install all the handles and plastic. So we have a long process ahead, but let's get started. This is what we have so far. We've been at it with the this wheel, that sander, that brush. Yeah, here's what we have so far. It's taking a long time, but I'm shaking, but it's taking for so long. But I mean, we got to do this so that way it gets a good stick. So, all right, so we just got the whole okay. Excuse that motorcycle. Let's see what it looks like. Just got all the pieces trimmed off. And then right now we're going to be cutting out our little holes here. I mean, it's, it didn't come out bad, but it doesn't look good either. So, but it did look better than the old one it had on it. So that's a plus. All right, so this is what it looks like. I haven't been recording much just because I'm doing it um, just by myself. So that's how it looks. I mean, I kind of messed up right there, but no biggie. It looks way better than it did for my first one. And I already got the holes cut out. It doesn't really matter how smooth these are because they're going to be covered. Like the light's going to go here. So we got the holes cut out already. And then we're going to get ready to get in here. And then start reinstalling everything. Got the wires here that we still need to put up. So yeah, let's get to it. I'm going to set up the tripod just so you guys can see how to get it in here. Because it's kind of a pain, so let's do that. Alright, so I try to set up the tripod on the steering wheel so you guys can see what i'm talking about but um on the extended cabs it's super super hard to get in the the get the headliner out um even with one person i mean i did it all by myself and that makes it twice as hard but um yeah i'm gonna get the headliner at least sitting on the headrest um but you guys can watch videos on youtube that actually have other people <laughs> helping them but yeah let's get the headliner in here and then i'll resume from there all right, so we took it out sideways. I know it's sideways right now, but that's the only way it can fit in. So then now you can just, oh, I just cracked that. Flip it now that there's space. I'm folding that corner over there, but no worries. This is why it's super hard. If you guys have another person to help you, that'll be way better. So there we go, just like that. And I put it in upside down. All right, you got this I tucked in, holding that on this corner tucked in holding this on so now let's go to the other side all right we just got this handle all right we just got this handle tugged in nice and firm um this side came out pretty bad but i mean what can we do now it's on here um and there's a lot of handprints let's go caught on my shorts but next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these clips and these two holes that we made here they should fit in somewhere here. Uh, let me get, find the hole and I'll push it in for you guys. All right, just got this one in. Let's see if I can do this one on camera. Oh, but first, we have to go ahead and tuck this wire behind. Cause we don't want no wires showing. And then, There you go, like so. Took the rest all behind there. There you go, nothing showing. Solid. We're gonna have to figure out how to take out these handprints, but um, let's move on to this handle. All right, so I put you guys on, on a tripod so you guys can see. So first, we have to make sure the, both these clips are down. Okay, we got that one clipped in. Okay, this is way harder. Let me see. Also, these should just go in here. Feet, 
feed them through here, I believe. Actually, I'm not completely sure where we have to feed these to. All right, a little update. Got this handle installed, those two. Got the light just installed. And see all those, those two holes. I forgot to cut them out here. So I gotta go get an exacto, find the holes, cut them out. And yeah, that's the interior. Uh, I don't like it one bit, but what can I say? It looks better than it did. Um, I'm going to try to do something to take out those little dimples. But um, if I can't do anything, then oh well. We'll see what happens. But yeah, I'm going to cut out those two holes and we'll put the handles. Finishing product. Everything's installed. Now we're just going to go ahead and get out um, the, like, awesome and scrub it with water because as you can see my dirty handprints but there it is that's how it came out everything came installed good now we have the headlight done now all right so right now we got it all washed up and these are the new rims and tires or not new but i guess semi-used we're gonna be putting them on this truck Cause you know these are kind of bald i don't know why i mean if you if you watch my last video you know why but that's besides the point we're gonna be replacing them because they look better and because they're all-terrain tires so way better than you know drag slicks but let's do that so right here is the actual offer of listing that we put it on for um you guys can see i have the interior all done up um we got the seat the seats were in really good condition. Um, we got the headliner all done up. The pictures actually came out pretty clean and the truck looks really nice with just that painted black front end. And then that changed the rims and tires um, from the ones that we took off in the other video off um, the Project Yonke. So you guys can go look at my other video. But yeah, here's the offer up listing. Put it up for 4.2 thousand and I sold it today. All right, we just did it. GMC is no longer there so we went ahead and got sold it sold it for some profit now we're gonna look into more builds and we're gonna see what's popping but who knows maybe a six inch lift coming who knows maybe some long tubes <laughs> we have we have a lot of options that we can do so GMC is gone. On to the next project. Peace.